The Ford government announced some major changes to the education system today. They say will help modernize classrooms right across the province. We'll be exploring some of those changes and the impact they'll have on parents and students. For instance, they say they'll be introducing a mandatory career studies course with a focus on financial literacy. They'll also be introducing a new four-year math strategy they say will help students get jobs in the future. They plan on modernizing the EQAO system and they say they will be modernizing the teacher hiring process. They've also made some changes to classroom sizes. While kindergarten to grade three will see no changes at all, and grades four to eight will see only a minor increase, high schools will see a huge jump. The average classroom size jumping from 22 students to 28 students. But the biggest change is with sex education and that was a huge issue here in Thorncliffe Park. Parents protested the former Liberal government sex ed curriculum and while they might be satisfied with this new curriculum it has left many other parents and students unsatisfied. There is some surprise and even disbelief that parents can now opt their children out of sensitive material in the new sex ed curriculum. It's part of the way you grow up. That's, you should learn about it. The new curriculum brings back topics like gender identity and consent, topics that were eliminated when the Ford government repealed a 2015 sex ed curriculum introduced by the previous Liberal government, a move that sparked protests across the province. But while the sensitive issues will return to classrooms, some of them aren't mandatory. We need to respect our parents and as the primary educators of their children. And so if there's something happening in grade one or grade two a parent isn't comfortable with, they need to work with their teacher and their, their principal on the opt-out option that they have, uh, that we've presented through this plan. Topics like concussions, healthy relationships and mental health are listed as mandatory, while body image, consent and online safety are not. The province also changing the age at which students will learn about certain topics. Consent will be introduced earlier in grades 2 and 3. Gender identity has been pushed back to grade 8. Critics calling the curriculum vague and confusing. The devil here is going to be in the details. We know the minister wasn't able to give us a clear response on some of those questions. And, you know, I think it is concerning uh, that we don't really know what exactly is going to be mandatory. I think consent should absolutely be mandatory. It's something kids need to be aware of. I don't think it should be mandatory. Okay. Yeah, I don't think um, they should impose this on people. I think they should be able to opt out if they want to. I believe that it's a parent's choice what they want to uh, have their child taught. And I think you should take it, but it doesn't begin and end at school. It continues at home. Do you think it's something that you would choose to teach your, your children yourself? Um, talk about it first before they learn it uh, somewhere else. So at least she has an idea of what it is before she learns it in school. And as we mentioned, the government also making big changes to the math curriculum that they say will help students get jobs out of school. If you'd like to learn any of those details, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.